All right, y'all, so just a quick video on how to assemble the train together. This is just the first part of assembling the train together. Um, I have already gone to File, New Design, and what's really important is that you save this new design before you start dropping parts in, okay? So you, you do need to save your file. Uh, I recommend calling it Train Assembly, but you do need to save the file, the blank file, before you can drop anything into it. Okay, once the file is saved, you can open your data panel with the waffle menu on the left, and you can navigate to your parts and just start dropping them in. Okay, the first part I have already dropped in is my train body. The next, I'm going to drop in the wheel, and this is going to be part of what you get a grade on today. So when your wheel comes in, you can feel free to move it around using the handle. You can feel free to orbit it around any of the axes if you wish. You don't have to. But once your part is in place, you're going to click the OK button. So the reason I, I revolved or rather, rather rotated mines is that um, so I can see the, the back of the wheel and I can see where it's going. You can move your view cube around to view different orientations if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and use my joint command, which is under assemble joint. And I can see that the J key is the shortcut the shortcut for joint. So I'll use that in the future. Now to join my wheel and my train body, uh, the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and tell it which type of motion it's going to be. So over here on my joint menu, I'm going to choose the motion tab. And look, I don't want rigid. I want a revolute because I want that wheel to spin around. Okay, once revolute is selected, I can go back to my motion tab and I can select what attaches to what. In this case, the back of the wheel, the center of that is going to attach to the center of this hole right here. Now, if you look closely, it's actually pointing to the inside of the hole, and I don't want it to point to the inside of the hole, I want it to point to the outside. So what I'm gonna do is a little trick. I'm gonna hover on the outside of the hole right here, and I'm gonna hold my control key and what control does is it keeps it on the outside there. Now I can go ahead and click on the center and it's pointing out now instead of pointing into the hole. And you can see now it gives me a little animation of what that's going to look like. I can replay the animation by going to motion and hitting the animate button. And that does look how I want it to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the OK button and say that's fine. Pretty much just repeat that four times, three more times around the, the body of the train. I'll do it one more time just so you can see it again. I'm going to bring the wheel out. This time I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to leave it as placed. Now I'm going to press the J key, which is the same as pressing the joint button. And this time I'm going to revolve around using my view cube. And I want to select the back of my wheel, center, right there. Make sure you're grabbing the center. And I'm going to zoom in and grab. The, so again, it's again the blue arrow is pointing inside the hole. So to get that pointing out, I'm going to hover on the outside of my hole. I'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard, and then click on the center. And now the blue is pointing out. Uh, Dorian asks, "Do I press on the wheel first and then the train body?" Um, I I believe either way is okay, Dorian. I think it's. Um, I think it's kind of common practice for you to click on the thing that is to be moved first and then the thing that is going to stay second. But either, I think either way would work, Dorian, okay? Okay. So when I click okay, now here's something that I wanted to, to go over with you guys. I think we touched on this yesterday, but I wanted to re recover. When I go and I change my – oh, do you see how when I go to drag my wheels around – it moves my entire assembly. Do you guys see that? See how it's moving my entire assembly around? That's because I need to pin or ground something, the body of the train in place. So don't forget, if you want to see your wheels actually moving on your model, you need to ground your train body. So to ground your train body, you're going to go to the train body in your browser window, and you're going to right-click it and simply click on ground. It asks, do you want the train to move to where you put it, or do you want to keep it back where it originally was? I'm going to click on revert, move it back to where it originally was. 
at this point, now you can see a little icon next to a little pin in my component icon. And what that means is the train body won't move anywhere, which allows the other components to move in relation relatively to the train body, if that makes sense. All right. So again, don't forget to right click on your train body in the browser window and ground it. You want to make it grounded. Okay, folks, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you found this in-class tutorial helpful. Shoot me an email or raise your hand if you have questions.